What's going on everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. And today we're going to be taking a look at a new release. And this was an online exclusive release from Tops, And it is called Super 70s Sports. Check that out, man. And I'm not usually the one that goes out and buys a lot of these online exclusive. I just think it's too much stuff they're putting on the market. But this one really caught my eye. I just love the nostalgia look, and it's it's focused on the 70s era, if you can tell by the picture right there, that nice little photograph, but I just had to have it. I love the nostalgia of the older cards, and not really much on the back here, but not a ton of cards in it. Like I said, you could have only got these on Topps' website, and I picked up two. I don't remember how much they were exactly, guys. I think they were about 30 bucks, maybe 25 I do know now they're selling for more, but there's a guy, a uh, uh, social media influencer or whatever they called him. Ricky Cobb is the guy that put these together. Don't know a ton about Ricky Cobb, but he was the one and was pretty much behind everything. But just looking at some of the uh, <clears throat> highlights online, the pictures that went with it, man, it is a fantastic looking set. I think the base set is 80 cards. We're only going to get 20 in each, and we can get autographs, and most of the autographs are retired veterans, Hall of Famers, Ricky Henderson, Burt Bylev, and I've seen a lot of good names on there. We're not guaranteed an auto, but it seemed like it wasn't extremely tough to get them either. I think one in three said you got an autograph, but I have not seen any of this opened. Uh, don't know really what to expect, where the auto would be. But it says on there, it's almost like opening up a pack from 1970. The smell and all. <laughs> but here we go. Let's take a look at it. It's pretty neat, man, that artwork they got going on. They got it pretty well packaged. Let's see. Do I need to break out the case again? I'll tell you what. We're about to, if I can get that tape off. Maybe it'll come off right here. Yeah. I see a nice big poppy right there on the front. Tell you what, that's some pretty sticky tape right there. Man, let's see if we can look up and get us an auto. I always have the time of my life trying to get in these boxes, man. And here we go. Let's take a look at it. Finally got that open. Big Poppy stuck. Come on out of there, Big Poppy. Come on. Sorry, excuse me, guys. Lord have mercy. All right, I seen something back there red. And also, there's two inserts I believe we get. And there's all kind of crazy looking inserts, magnificent hairdos, but check that out. Love the design, an old throwback design. It's got that feel, just like they said, of an old school card. Check the back out. I just, I really, really enjoy this older stuff. I always have. And check that out, guys. The second card in, we got a George Foster autograph. It is a sticker auto. That caught me by surprise. Cincinnati Reds, George Foster. I'm well aware of Mr. George. Don't know a ton about him, but I know the name. I will take that all day, guys. That is awesome. So I was going in not expecting an auto. Because like I said, it was one in three boxes so check that out man nice charge foster old school player got a don sutton rest in peace man mr joe morgan beautiful looking cards don mattingly there's a nice max scherzer bob gibson lost a lot of good greats this year there's mr george foster again willie mays check that bryce harper out nice photographs too man Another great that we lost, man, Al Kaline. 2020 has just been a rough year, y'all. A rough, rough year. Robin Yount, this is fantastic looking cards, man. George Brett, check that Jim Palmer out. Carl Yastrzemski. Carlton. Louis Tiant. I think that is our magnificent mustaches. Check that out, man. <laughs> I just love this set. We got another one here. This one's the Memorable Managers, Frank Robinson. 
check that one out mr triple b so just a very nice looking set again the back of it look there's that little artwork again so not a bad little first pack not sure if you can get parallels or anything but i really did enjoy it and for the price it was not bad at all we got one more let's see if we can beat them odds man and get two autos not gonna hold my breath on it but this is just one of them sets to put away and enjoy man because i can't say it enough that old nostalgia is what brought a lot of us back to this hobby and let's see if we can get mr rod carew off got him off so we're already seeing a few uh different ones which is a good sign i was hoping not to get a bunch of duplicates so that auto was the first couple ones in are we going to get another one nice rod carew check that hairdo out juan soto cody bellinger don't look like we're going to get the auto in this one but hey i'm not going to complain because these are just awesome alan trammell there he is mr ricky henderson he's got a bunch of autos in this set too mookie gene carlos stanton dave kingman just check the photos out man it's just they done a fantastic job with this one i don't say that a lot with tops but i really enjoy this one nice babe ruth Dwight Gooden, he's got uh, autos in here. Mr. Frank the Big Herd, how about a Mike Trout? I was hoping to get him. Check that one out, a very nice Mike Trout, number 46. Read the back of it. Pretty hard to pick up on camera. Ty Cobb, old Jim Rice, Matt Olson, Fred McGriff. We got memorable managers again, Mr. Ted Williams. Nice looking one there. And our next one is Spectacular. What does that say? Spectacular Spectacles. And I guess they're talking about the glasses. Check them out. Old Coke bottle glasses on that dude. Jeff Burroughs. So there's a look at it, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I was glad we was able to pick up an auto. No huge, huge name. But man... This was one I had to have. I want to hear y'all's comments, how y'all thought about this one. Top X Super, Super 70s is what it was called. Like I said, it was an online exclusive. I think they are on eBay. People starting to get them and trying to obviously sell them for more than what they got them for. But if you can get them for around the $35, $40 range, it's not a bad little rip at all. I think it's really, really well worth it. But, uh... Guys, thank y'all so much. Christmas is uh, just a couple of days around the corner. I might not get this video out. It might be after Christmas, but if I do, I hope everybody has a fantastic Christmas, spends a good time with their family. And as always, thank y'all so much. If you don't mind, please give me a thumbs up, and I will see y'all on the next one. LSU Maniac out of here.